Yes guys, once again this is Assorted Challenge TV and welcome back to our YouTube channel. From the very moment you lay eyes on the SF Romanta Spider, you understand it is an amazing car. The design, the craftsmanship, the engine, every single detail. But only once you drive it, you really discover it delivers a brand new driving experience. The level of technology of innovation, the endless performance, the connection it immediately creates with the driver, and the ability it has to bring him beyond his capabilities, this all sets a whole new benchmark. The SF Romanta Spider has the same disruptive energy of our supercar. It projects the driver into a new era, an era it was hard to believe until now. It delivers 1,000 horsepower and together with the Stradale is the first plug-in hybrid Ferrari and the most powerful Ferrari ever developed. The performance is astonishing. It reaches 200 km per hour in seven seconds and zero to 100 in 2.5 seconds, just a blink. It defines a completely new world. The endless power, the new eight-speed gearbox, the V8 turbo engine delivering 780 horsepower, the three electric motors for an extra 220 horsepower. The brake system deliver a thrill that you must experience to truly understand the utmost pleasure. Handling, performance, Safety and stability are granted by the four-wheel drive and by the torque factory that Michael Leiters will explain in detail. Everything is engineered to melt the driver and the car together. Two bodies, one soul, to discover the ultimate essence of pure driving emotion. This connection starts as soon as you sit in the car and start the engine. Everything is designed on the philosophy, eyes on the roads, hands on the steering wheel. You control almost everything without having to move your hands from the steering wheel, either with the trackpad or with your voice. Ciao Ferrari is the wake up word for the voice recognition. And from here, you control the climate, the music, or make phone calls. In other words, you can just concentrate on driving and leaving the road. You can also choose the way you want to enjoy it through the special Imanettino. You can select four different power modes. E-Drive is ideal for a styling start or for an understated downtown drive. You can drive full electric for a range up to 25 kilometers. Hybrid is the default mode, perfect for everyday drive. The car decides independently how to deliver the energy, electric only, internal combustion only, or a combination of the two. The objective is an efficient energy usage. When you select performance, you nourish your sporty attitude. This is great for amazing driving on winding roads or for track racing. The system prioritizes the battery charge. The car is therefore ready for an immediately sharp request for power. 
When you're shooting for the top, select the Qualify mode. All four motors work at full capacity. This is perfect for a few laps at maximum performance to enjoy the ultimate thrill of the track. With the SF Anomanta Spider, any ride is a mind-blowing journey. But when you open the retractable art top, it takes only 14 seconds and you can do it driving up to 45 km per hour. That amplifies the driving excitement with the sound of the engine and the pleasure of an open air drive. The SF Anomanta Spider delivers a breathtaking experience that brings the driver to an edge and beyond and back again. An experience you will never forget. Today we talk about this beautiful car, the SF Novanta Spider. Why did we decide to develop a Spider version of the SF Novanta Stradale? As you know, driving emotions are key for every Ferrari. And with a Spider model, we can increase actually the driving emotions. So obviously for a Spider model, the most important part is the roof itself. The retractable hardtop is the best solution for weight management and comfort on board. We can open this roof in 14 seconds. And by the way, you can do that while driving up to a speed of 45 kph. And there's another very important element. Look how compact this roof is. And this is important because we could maintain the beautiful shape of this car and also the impact on all aerodynamic elements of the car are very, very limited. Let's talk about the engine. The engine is the soul of a Ferrari. That's what Enzo Ferrari said. And that was the reason why we decided to celebrate this beautiful piece of engineering even more than normally also on the Spider version. So it's the first time after a long time that we show the engine bay. We redesigned it totally to go beyond the best V8 engine ever made. So it's the most powerful V8 we ever done. 780 horsepower and 195 horsepower per liter. How did we do that? We have a totally new combustion chamber, a central uh, injector derived by the Formula One technology. We have 350 bar direct injection and all that we achieved without any turbo lag. So if you put the pedal to the metal, the car goes directly. Direct response, that's driving emotion. If we talk about driving emotions, we have to talk about the sound. Low refs, basses, high refs, soprano. Thrilling, metallic sounds. The faster you go, the more volume you want to have. So we have to connect all these things and all comes to your ear and your stomach to involve you. That's like a symphony. We had to invent a new thing which we call tubo caldo. You have to understand that from the engine to the exhaust pipes, there are, let me say, some obstacles, some filters for the sound to come out to the ear of the driver. So what we have done is we put a pipe before the catalyst and we bring the pulsations to the cabin. And this is direct to the ear and you have the pure and direct pulsations by the engine near to the ear. And now we enter in a new dimension and this is the sound of this new dimension. You have already understood, we are talking about the hybrid powertrain. And the energy source of this hybrid powertrain is a battery placed directly behind the driver. We have the highest power density in our battery to create all the power and the torque we need. And on top of that battery, we have three electric motors. One between the engine and the gearbox. We are using a special technology, axle flux uh, technology, to hold this engine very very compact and then in the front we have two electric drives so we can also have all-wheel drive and all these three engines together 
create 220 horsepower. So we have 780 horsepower by the IC powertrain and 220 horsepower by the electric powertrain. In total, 1000 horsepower. Let's do a focus on the electric front axle, where we have the first time in the history of Ferrari a performance-oriented all-wheel drive. We have all-wheel drive on demand. We have a lot of performance, a lot of power here on this car, and to accelerate, we need an all-wheel drive. How can we make the car more agile? And that's the reason why we choose two electric drives in the front. So we can control these two drives independently and make it easier for the car to go into the curve. So if you steer in into the curve, the car is helping you and uh, is more agile than you normally uh, expect. The driver perceives this functionality 200 kilos less on the car. And there's a search function. Imagine you want to test your car in the morning, but you don't want to wake up the neighborhood you can go in electric drive, 25 kilometers and up to a speed of 130 kph. I could continue to explain you for hours this car, but the best way to figure out this car is to drive it. And if you drive it, you will feel all the innovations, how they work to support the Ferrari driving emotions. Ferrari always redefines the limits of the possible. The SF90 Spider is the perfect embodiment of this spirit. It merges engineering and innovation and fascinating beauty. Every single detail is aimed at achieving outstanding performance goals and at the same time those very same aspects allowed us to create a futuristic and iconic sculpture where form and function are perfectly integrated. This is an engineering masterpiece and the design must capture the very essence of the project. The architecture and the proportions are key elements of the design of the car, especially the very compact cabin with a kind of cab forward effect. The long tail, which is emphasizing the power of the engines and the short front bonnet. Despite the technical complexity of the car, the form is clear and, and very pure, thanks to the double layer cockpit, because we decided to keep one part of the car in body color, like a sculpture, a modern sculpture. The other part is carbon fiber, integrating all the technical and aerodynamic devices. The cockpit design respects the aesthetics of the coupe and at the same time it becomes a spider which conveys an even slicker effect to the body of the car. The extremely sophisticated aerodynamics of this car is another key aspect of the project. It has been very important to perfectly understand it in order to sculpt the beautiful shape of the supercar. For example, the airflow which surrounds the cabin naturally generates this kind of spoon cut which conveys a very sculptural effect to the body side and at the same time recalls the P3, P4 air intake. One of the characteristic elements of the Spider version are the two buttresses which are sitting on a very iconic uh, feature of this car, that is the flying bridge. It's a very architectural element which gives a forward tension that we call slingshot effect. This not only gave us the possibility to show the entire engine bay, but also to create two force lines that are defining the architecture of the rear and giving a lot of uh, stance to the car. The rear looks 
like a spaceship and it shows the very futuristic approach to design, especially due to the trimaran architecture characterized by the two beautiful keels and by also the exhaust that are located there to keep them very short and the lights with their very modern cut embedded into the aerodynamic slot. The search for purity brought us to even perfectly integrate the rear spoiler that is not prominent but works by subtraction. The flying bridge creates the so-called uh, slingshot effect which conveys a forward tension to the old body and creates the arrow shape of the front giving a prominent and very dynamic effect to the nose. This defines the architecture of the front where again form and function merges perfectly and also all the aerodynamic devices are perfectly integrated into an organic vision, into an organic sculpture. There are three radiators where the first one has been emphasized because this is the radiator of the electric engine. Then the arrow shape stretches out creating a very aeronautic effect thanks to these winglets which are integrated between the headlamps with a very futuristic and modern shape and the brake air intakes. Another very important chapter of this project is the interior, where the protagonist is the new human machine interface, a series of full digital screens, driver oriented, perfectly organized in terms of ergonomics, which define the, let's say, cockpit architecture of this interior. It's interesting because when they are off, they are clean and very elegant. When they are on, they are futuristic and very modern. The design and the organization of the rest of the interior follows this architecture and there are three main elements. The carbon fiber and metal structural elements, the digital screens and the beautiful Italian upholstery. Another fundamental part of this interior are the seats. Uh, again, a perfect merge between form and function where the paddings are very ergonomic and directly applied to the carbon fiber shells. All these elements have been conceived with a very futuristic and modern approach with the intention of giving this interior the identity of a real spaceship.